Friday. Friday, Friday. Uh, wife is getting ready to go to work. Comes back in, says your car won't start. Now, for the last two or three days, she's been saying that the battery is a little sluggish. And that she has to get a new battery. Okay, so she has to get a new battery. Okay, so she has to get a new battery. Okay, so she has to get a new battery. Okay, so she has to get a new battery. Okay, so she has to get a new battery. Okay, so she has to get a new battery. Uh, like I said, all my vehicles have two batteries with a switch. So, when you flip the switch, you can jump start the car, basically. Um, and I say, if, you know, if you feel that you need to do that, do it. And then uh, let it run with that switch on, you know, for wherever it is you're going. And then uh, turn it off when you get home. So, this here way, we can keep the secondary battery, you know, up to its full capacity as well. Because when the switch is on, it'll charge both batteries. So at that point, that's what she's been doing. She says she has to put that switch on because it seems kind of sluggish. So last night, about 10 o'clock, she says, oh shit, I used the switch and I forgot to turn it off. So I'm thinking, eh, hey, don't worry about it. It's 10 o'clock at night. Don't worry about it, you know. And uh, sure as shit, she goes out this morning and they drained both batteries because both batteries were hooked up. <coughs> what I mean by that is, if you flip the switch, <coughs> excuse me, I'm having my morning coffee here. If you flip the switch, both batteries are hooked up. You flip it, switch, bleh, switch it the other way, and the main battery's hooked up. So if the main battery tends to go weak on you for any reason, you can just flip the switch the other way, and the secondary battery will jump the main battery. If you leave that switch on, it'll charge both batteries when it's running. When you flip the switch off, it'll only charge the main battery. So, she's been jumping this other battery in to jumpstart the main battery. And then she forgets to turn the switch off. Now, if the other battery is bad, or if there's a short someplace, then it's going to drain both batteries. And that's what has happened. Now, what I think is, the battery is old. If I remember right, it's probably four years old, um, give or take. So it's a possibility that that's what it is. So I'm going to go out there with the meter, because right now it won't start. But I'm going to go out there with the meter to see if we have any voltage, and is it the battery, or do we have a switch problem, what do we have going on here. So that's what we're going to go check out. I'm going to leave you guys in here, only because I want to kind of get it done, um, you know, and I'll fill it yet occasionally.